Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Tiny Town Challenge. A challenge by Deligracy, and the rules and a link to her channel will be in the description below. So we're just continuing with Beatrice, and she actually bought this restaurant. It was the farm family restaurant, and I've used it before, but I replaced all of the plants and put activities. So I'm using Carl's Dine Out mod, and here we have the upstairs, which is now just a entertainment space and a bar. So Sims should show up to the lot just to play with the radio and do the various activities that are up here. And then downstairs we have the kitchen and the indoor dining area. And then this is the host station. And this is the outdoor seating area where we have a stall for Beatrice. So she is working the stall and, um, well, talking to people outside of the yard for some reason. And then inside we have another area. Um, are you a waiter? Why are you playing ping pong? Okay, that should not be happening, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, everyone here is allowed to play with these different activities, except for the employees. I'm going to have to tell you to stop doing that. Juniper, quit playing with the guests and go wait on your tables. Anyway, so Beatrice decided she wanted to teach other people how to cook. And that's why she opened a restaurant. She's going to try her hand at being a small business owner. And we have a bunch of patrons getting their food. And then she's going to also run the food stall out here for a little while. So I might run the food stall for one run and then put everything away. Um, what do you want, Letitia? Oh no. Here we go again. She wants to have a baby. She didn't last time. Even though she asked me and I said try for the baby, I didn't see her have one. So we'll tell her try for a baby again, but her house is really small. So maybe that's why she decided not to have one last time. Okay, so we're going to run the food stall out here for one run. And then after the food stall closes, We'll go inside and either help the cooks or actually our cooking station is out here. And I discovered that I cannot do the cook orders of, as chef and the food sale at the same time. If I try to uh, start the food sale, then she basically says that there's already an event started. I wonder if I start the food sale first and then cook orders as chef, what will happen? Um, yeah, last exception. So that doesn't work. I think we're going to have to wait until the food sale is over in order to actually cook anything. But that's fine. Beatrice will just be out here. Okay, now that the food sale is over, um, we'll just go check on our patrons inside and see what the level 2 star ratings are waiting on. Maybe we can prioritize their food. Okay, we managed to raise them to a level three. Okay, the only thing with Beatrice being cooking as chef is that she actually isn't a very good mixologist. So we'll try doing that for a little while. There's three orders, so we have to help them catch up. Okay, it looks like we helped them catch up on their orders. So I'm going to stop playing as chef and see if I can improve some of my ratings around here. So if you go to management and welcome and you could prioritize their food and apologize for the wait. And it's like we're actually managing the restaurant and, and being a little bit of a socialite instead of just cooking food. And here comes their food. This is the first group I've seen sit outside. Most of them for some reason, tend to sit inside. Uh, where's the food? Okay, he made the motion, but the food did not appear. Oh, nobody's in here now. I know some of these items can't be used, especially since this one is only usable by kids, but I thought it was a nice setup. Okay, so it's after 5 p.m. 
we're going to actually disallow new customers now and we're just going to finish the clients that we have at the moment. And it looks like we only have one more order to cook. So we'll focus on checking on everyone and making sure their ratings are as high as possible. Okay, it looks like that was the last one. Since no one else is picking it up, I guess I'll get it myself. They ordered more than one thing. Oh, it's because they ordered dessert. They're actually ordering multiple courses. Okay, once that other party leaves, it will be time to close. I guess there's nothing you can really do for the other patrons that come. It looks like they're not having a very good time. Maybe because he doesn't like the music. Oh, that stinks. He came here and he doesn't like the music. Well, hello, Vincat. Um, I like your outfit. Okay, so that group is leaving. We can close now. Not too bad. We did get about 2,000 simoleons, which isn't that great for how much I paid for this restaurant, but that's okay. We are two stars now. We served 12 customers and we were open 10 hours. Now, maybe we should send our employees for training, but I don't think that we can do that now. No, it's too late. You have to do that when they first get here. Well, we should probably try to get Marissa to join the household because to be honest, it would be easier if we had more people to manage the restaurant with and that might make things more interesting. Did we already? Yes, we're already a boyfriend and girlfriend. So what if we propose early? That might be a nice thing to do. Okay, it wants me to use her ring. I don't want to use the ring to propose. I know I have one in my inventory, but I'm wearing it. Okay, what if I put it back on the stand? That's kind of a little bit of a uh, hiccup. Okay, Marissa. Will you marry me? Oh, and she says yes. So yeah, you can't have any ring in your inventory or on your person. You can't be wearing one if you want to propose and not use the ring. Okay, where did they move the elope immediately? Okay, it's under relationship. All right, so the planned wedding event and planned customized wedding event is on the main pie menu. But if you want to elope immediately, you have to go under relationship. Why don't these things make sense? Okay, we're just going to have Marissa elope immediately with us because Beatrice is busy running her business. She wants to start a family, but she doesn't want that to get in the way of things or take too long. So since Tiny Town is a series where we have to hurry up and start a family because we need that to get going before we quit and we've only got three weeks to build a house we'll go ahead and do that really fast and we'll go ahead and exchange rings but it won't be the ring that we're wearing from opal okay so now that that is settled let's take a tour of the house uh, Beatrice had so much money and the restaurant wasn't quite as expensive as I thought it would be. So I did add some furniture to her house. She has a very small bathroom back here. And yeah, the toilet only works if I shove it under the stairs and turn it this way. Because if you turn it facing out, I guess the archway gets in the way. And I have to have an archway because if not... The stairs have a little gap and you can see into the bathroom from the stairs. So that's a little tip if you're trying to use an under the stairs uh, entryway or under the stairs space in order to make use of the space down here is to turn the toilet facing away from the stairs and put an archway and just use a wall to separate the bathroom from the stairs. So we have a little sink area in here, and then we also have this bathtub shower combo. 
And then we have the kitchen with the appliances are not the best appliances, but I feel that these appliances match the space better. So I didn't want to get the, you know, highest level appliances that don't really look that great. But this is like a farm kitchen and it's really cute. And then we have a little desk over here with the dog bed, the dog toys, and the dog bowl. And then this is the living room with just a TV and a couch. And then the laundry is right here, as well as the water heater being out in the open. So that is the downstairs area. And then we go upstairs. I have one bedroom up here that's going to be the master bedroom and I have a whole bunch of clothes just hanging out in the open and I know it's really cluttered and it doesn't look very nice but that's not the point. The point is to make it look like a cottage and this is giving me you know old woman that lived in a shoe vibes basically there's no space and so she has to have her clothes hanging up everywhere because there's going to be hopefully three adults in this bedroom so we have two right now because Beatrice just got married but I want to have a third and I'm not sure who that's going to be yet but this will be you know one bed for the woohoo and one bed for sleeping and then we will have a kid's bedroom over here so if we have multiple kids we can just get bunk beds and this should be just fine and then we have a little dining room seating out here on the porch with this lattice which is actually separating the space from the front yard and then of course we have the chicken coop and the goats etc in here so it looks kind of you know not so great right now because unfortunately it is the beginning of spring but hopefully it should be coming back into full bloom so we should be able to see everything really good in the next couple of days and then maybe I'll do another tour or at least show the outside of how it looks with all the flowers because I think it will look fine but I'm not sure because again it was built when I couldn't see what the plants look like so this is what it looks like with all the walls up from the outside and I really love this cottage vibe it is actually pretty amazing I'm not done with the yard yet so we have this backyard space over here that I'm probably going to put some activities for the kids but I have not done that yet and then we have not furnished the kids bedroom we just have the adults bedroom and I have this wild wallpaper as basically an accent wall and then in the kids' bedroom, we have the bunny, grassafras, wallpaper, basically dinosaur, bunny, and elephant. And it's pink. Everything is pink. It's not too great in this lighting. So maybe I'll do another tour at another time. Oh, is it raining outside? Yeah, I kind of forgot that this is in the weather. I might not be able to have this stuff out here. The pizza oven is fine, but for some reason the waffle maker doesn't work in the rain. Okay, so we're trying out the heart bed. Should we turn the vibration on? Okay, I'm just going to run a food sale tonight uh, because some of my stuff is already spoiling. My pizza is spoiled. No. Okay, Tom, you're all dirty. Let's go take a bath. Let's see if the bathtub will work. Sometimes it doesn't work very well with large dogs. And the reason why I say that is because there's actually a sink next to the bathtub. If you have an item next to the bathtub on the non-faucet side, it will usually still work, but sometimes it doesn't work with dogs. Okay, it looks like everything is fine. It's really cramped in here and hard to see things. Not the best design from a play perspective, but it is really cute and really cozy and that's what I wanted it to be because this is supposed to be a cottage so I wanted it to actually feel cramped.
and I might put an indoor dining table in here, but I'm not sure exactly how I want to lay that out yet, so I haven't done it. Well then, Kat, um, I think Beatrice is actually attracted to him. He's wearing this pink sequined jacket, and that's actually kind of funny. Your outfits are just the greatest. Oh, he's a glutton. Well, we like to cook. If you like to eat, we will make you lots of yummy things. Oh, and now he's going to go um, sit in my living room or something. Yeah, every time I talk to someone, they like to go in my house. That is a little annoying. Well, maybe Marissa should come talk to you because if she doesn't know you, that might be a bad thing. Okay, I think we're going to have Marissa go around and manage the restaurant, at least for now, because Beatrice is doing her sale. Okay, yeah, Marissa, I know you want to talk to Beatrice, but right now we can't do that. And why is there honey here? Uh, I meant to put the honey in the fridge and the um, wine on the table or nectar. Okay, first let's go around to all of our employees and make sure they're actually going to be trained next time. And look who our host is. It's Carla. You can't really see her in that hat, but that's the hostess outfit. Are they using the table up here as a dining room seat? I think they are. Yeah, that one is not really meant to be a dining room table, even though it does have an item on it that can be used that way. Well, I guess it's fine. What I really like about Carl's Mod is that you can play as the waiter, as the chef, and as the host. So you don't have to hire people, but you can. So I'm going to take this table's order because they've been waiting for a little while and they're also up on the top floor. Or at least I'm going to try to take the order. Looks like my waiter's already got to it. Why are you dancing? Yeah, he already got to it. Are you cooking? Okay, no, you're not cooking. You're tending the table. It just looks like you're cooking because you're facing the wrong way. Why are you facing that way? I don't get it. Face the other way. And we're a three-star restaurant. I think by getting higher stars, we might have more people. And the only thing about Marissa is that I actually need to manage her needs. Oh, what's Bess calling for? No, Bess, I'm not donating one simoleon. I think I used to see people using the restrooms in restaurants, but now it seems like no one ever needs to go to the restroom, which is kind of annoying. I mean, why have a bathroom in a restaurant if no one is going to use it? I guess you have to use it unless you have some kind of needs satisfaction, but it's just annoying. My only complaint is that the bartender is classified as a host but is not wearing the host outfit. She's wearing her regular party outfit, which unfortunately for this sim looks like a bathing suit. That's better. Oh, they're actually playing. Oh, okay. I'm okay with this. This is kind of awesome. If you put something on the dinner table, the people who are actually eating at the restaurant will play. They're actually doing the fun activities as well as eating. I thought it was just the bar patrons or the fun patrons that would come in and do the activities, but that's kind of cool. I like the fact that he was actually using that. I'm still not getting a whole lot of customers. It seems like the lot is kind of dead. And I know I have this food sale going on too, but I have the limit for Sims on the lot increased to 100 Sims. So I don't know why I'm not getting very many on the lot. Maybe Dine Out has its own limitations. And for some reason, there was no one sitting there when I served that. But okay. Well, as long as we have everyone 
satisfied and everyone has their food. And it looks like everybody is gone now. So I guess I will just close the restaurant. We'll try and finish the food sale though, because some of this food has been around for a couple of days and it's going to spoil in a little while. Yeah, some of them today. So we need to sell it. I was about to say, I didn't know where they got those books from, but I see I have a pile of books over here. Okay, I didn't see anybody using the costumes, but I don't think they'll do that autonomously. And Beatrice is now a two-star celebrity. So apparently, yes, running the food stall makes you famous. I don't know why. Oh, this guy is evil and mean. I thought we'd look for some more uh, matches for Beatrice, but both of those are turnoffs. And... That's the guy from the gallery. Great. So normally when I search Cupid's Corner, I only get one person from the gallery. And then the rest of it is just townies. Yep, there's Morgan. And there's Elia. That's supposedly a townie. But their pronouns are they, them. It must have been someone I downloaded and is inserted into my game. Neil, Wade, <laughs> non-committal. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Wade is not non-committal. He's from my Lucid Legacy Challenge. Kai, or Case, however you want to say that. Peter, well, I'm not really interested in any of these people, really. Oh, well, maybe, maybe Case, he's a glutton and cheerful. It's too bad Kane is both evil and mean. Okay, so we have Garrett. And Marissa, uh, I'm not sure why she's still in our list, but yeah, we already dated her. And Case. And then we did meet Vincat. I think that's his name. So Vincat Goins, oh, if that is ever a townie name, um, maybe he's a townie, I don't know. He's a snob, he's a glutton, and he's cheerful, and he doesn't like violin. Oh, he's turned off by self-employed, okay. So, and turned off by black hair, okay, I, I was kind of hoping... Yeah, see, Beatrice is attracted to him, but he's neutral to her, so I'm not sure about those two. Um, what's going on? Is that... Um, yeah, that is an alien thing. Who is being abducted? Someone is. I don't see any, though. There's another event going on, namely my food sale. So I don't know, maybe that prevented it or maybe someone got abducted and I don't know who it was because it wasn't someone in my household. Oh, well, not my problem. OK, who is it? Ah, it was Cyprus. <laughs> OK, I saw him got turned back into his house. All right. So, Cypress got abducted. Are you pregnant, Cypress? Because your wife was also asking about getting pregnant. And that might be kind of funny, but it also might be kind of disastrous with your tiny, tiny home. Okay, we have to give Tom his daily bath. And then Beatrice is taking care of the goats and the chickens. And then we should be able to go back to the restaurant. We did get another hatchable egg and we traded away the rooster because Nugget grew up. So we have one adult rooster and one adult hen and one hatchable egg, which will hopefully be a hen chick. Okay, after paying for everyone's training, checking up on them and promoting them, hopefully they'll be in a better mood. Why are you being mean to Kevin if you are attracted to him? That's kind of weird. I thought they fixed that. 
Beatrice was very mean to almost everyone when the series first started due to a bug, but for some reason she's randomly being mean to Kevin. Oh look, it's a table full of kids and no adult. That's kind of weird. Oh, there's the adult. So you had to bring three kids with you to a restaurant. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so there's another one, although you don't have a star above your head. So I think he is also with this table. I don't know. I used to get a lot of customers in my restaurant, so many that the tables would all be full. And it seems like I'm not even able to fill the tables anymore. And my restaurant is a three-star restaurant. And I'm also paying for the highest advertising package. And yeah, I am running the food sale and having walk-up diners and takeout orders. And the bar is also running. But I was expecting that this place could be full of people. Well, I guess it's not too bad since it's not crowded. It does give a little bit of opportunity to pay attention to what's going on. It seems like when a zone is actually crowded, they're all crowded around one thing or one room and not spread out around the lot. Okay, the only problem with the ping pong tables is I think that the guests are choosing to play with the waiters and that's not a good thing. It's because it takes two people to play, so they pick a random person, and one of them happens to be the waiter sometimes. I guess I will forgive it for now. Besides, there are no new customers. I'm just waiting for this last table to get served. It's like 9.30. Why did they take so long to get served? Are you guys done yet? I want my paycheck, please. And I also want to clear the table and get you guys out of here. Okay, you guys must be finished now. Are you ordering something else? Why are you ordering something else? Maybe they ordered dessert? Okay, now they're glitching. I think I'm just going to close. You guys are out of luck. You're not getting your dessert. <laughs> there is one more order in the queue. But you are keeping my employees too late. They're going to be mad at me. So I'm just closing. Let's see if Ben, Cat, and Marissa have anything in common. Okay, it seems these two are neutral to each other and they won't stand next to each other when they're talking. So we're going to move on to the next one and try and find a better match. And it keeps telling me that Elena is not good enough at her job, but she's a host. So if I pay for training, I'm not sure what it's training her on, even though she's a bartender. Ah, her mixology skill is pretty low, but she's level four in charisma. Okay, I refreshed the matches and we have Leaf, Wolfgang, really? No. Tomax. Jules is a genius and romantic. Well, he could be a potential match. Why does it keep giving me kale? I don't like hates children or erratic. Alfonso is lactose intolerant, but child of the ocean. And Gavin. Well, not really feeling any of those. Okay, so we have Elia, Garrett, and Case. Maybe we can check if Marissa has any matches. <laughs> Clement Frost is in her list. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> Michael, why is Michael in her list? He's married. Well, no. I take that back. I still have not married them again. Well, he should be married. Okay, and Christopher. Hmm, no werewolves. Vincat. Why is Vincat showing up on her list? 
Dexter, evil and loner. Why am I getting so many evil Sims from the gallery? Okay, we really didn't get any matches from Marissa either. I think we're going to go with the ones that Beatrice found and see if we can maybe invite them over. Oh, wow. We have five orders. Well, I might have to help my chefs out. Now there's six orders. Okay, let's stop the food sale. Well, at least the waiters are on top of things. Okay, I think they've caught up. There's no more orders. So we'll let them do everything as chef now. And I'm still trying to get this girl to be happy with her job. I can't promote her anymore. Okay, I guess she's just not happy. And maybe we can't train her either because she's actually a bartender. So, oh, we've got to fix that. Actually, let's just hire a repair service. I thought that the waiters might fix it, but I think that's only in the retail stores that they repair things. I guess the waiters are not going to fix the toilet. It looks like the nectar is not stocking on the table. I thought that it could, but maybe you have to pour it. It only has the option to drink, not to pour it. Okay, well, I guess I can't sell the nectar that way. Oh, it's 6 p.m. I should close the restaurant. It seems like a bad time to close the restaurant, though. Maybe I should do more of an evening shift. Most restaurants are not open for breakfast anyway. I don't think anyone's going to buy the nectar. Maybe I can convince someone to buy it? Or 65,000 simoleons. I don't think that that will work. I think before they were kind of glitched and it would pour the servings, but it wouldn't sell it for as much as it was actually worth. Yeah, it looks like no one's able to buy that. Okay, as soon as this table goes home, we can all leave. Yeah, there's no more orders, so I'm not sure why they're still here. Are they ordering something else? Seriously? Ah, they did. They ordered something else. I have it set so that they can order dessert, but it's kind of annoying when the last table there orders dessert. No, okay, we're just going to close. It's 8 p.m. Oh, no, wait, you're getting your food. Everyone's getting tired, I know. I think I'm going to open later. Okay, we can close. They got their food. And I'm going to make them not be able to eat it. <laughs> okay, let's get to know Case. I can't say I'm feeling that outfit, but it's okay, I guess. It is pink. I mean, he has a pink pig. Okay, why is everyone coming up here? My date is trying to use the bathroom, but unfortunately, people keep walking in. Come on, people, stop doing that. <laughs> they just keep walking in there for no reason. Well, I guess he's going to be very uncomfortable. Now he's trying to chat with me. I think I'm going to have to remove the mirrors in the bathroom. Because people keep going in there to chat with themselves or to cheer themselves up. It's just annoying. There, I added some mirrors to the outside. Hopefully no one will go in and interrupt him now. Okay, so he was finally able to use the restroom. It's also ghost night, which is kind of annoying because the ghost will go in and break things and possess things. And most people won't use a sink unless they are using the bathroom. But a ghost will go in there to possess it and that will stop you from using the bathroom. Okay, so he likes to play the piano. Or at least he has some skill at it. Oh, he likes pink clothes. Well, we definitely can help you there. Okay, so he likes boho decor. Not that we have any of that at our house, but we have cottage core. Okay, he keeps asking for the date to last longer, but we're already at gold and i'm done with this date okay i'll accept and then end the date cheerfully okay so it seems that we have some romance going on but to be honest we need to end this date now 
Okay, and wow, that was a lot of romance. Maybe we'll have a kiss? Okay, so I'm not sure how Marissa and Case will get along. I'm just going to call him Case. It might be Kai. I have no idea, but I think it's easier for me to just say Case. Okay, let's see if we can talk to Case with Marissa and see if they can get along. Okay, no, I didn't say to talk to them. I need you to give him a bath. Give Tom a bath. Don't talk to Case. So we're just cooking up some more pizza, some more waffles, and having another bake sale. So Marissa is doing the cleanup, and Beatrice is manning the stall. There's really not a lot going on now. I mean, that's why I did the restaurant, because at least the restaurant has some things that you can do and interact with. Fire! What is in fire? Did my pizza oven cause that to come on fire? Um. Okay, I'm not sure why the selling table is on fire. But we will extinguish that. It looks like the pizza oven itself is not on fire. Oh, Beatrice is not wearing her jewelry. Yeah, that might be a problem. Did they not fix the problem with the pizza ovens continuously catching on fire? Because Beatrice is a level 10 cook. There's no way that she should start a fire. Okay, we've taken Beatrice and Marissa out on a date and we brought Case. So how is this going to go down? I'm not sure, but maybe we'll find out. Okay, so if you do socialize with the guest, then that also counts towards the date's goal. Okay, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Okay, so we had a nice date, and we're trying to figure out if we can get him to join the household. For some reason, it's not showing up. Maybe we're not good enough friends? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, we're having our science babies. I think I'm going to have Beatrice and Marissa be the parents. And then the adoptive parent can be Case. And why is Beatrice hysterical? That's not good. Okay, so we have a girl. And her name is going to be Greta. And then we have a boy named Rowan. And we have twins, and we need to go calm down before we die. Although I do have death flowers, so I guess that wouldn't be a total disaster. Well, I guess that's it. We have our lovely little cottage, and it is the afternoon, and it's full-on spring. So we can see all the flowers in bloom. I love how this looks. I know it has a lot of flowers and maybe Frank's house should have been this way as well, but I think it just gives the cottage vibe when it's like that. And I did do the nursery, but all I did was add some beds and some toys and a few rugs. So not a whole lot there. And then downstairs, I did make Oh, someone is actually playing Randall. Okay, so the STEM children actually grew up. They're now children instead of toddlers. So we should probably introduce ourselves to them. I think Beatrice already knows them. But anyway, we have this lovely little backyard area where the kids can play. So that ends Beatrice's journey. And the next one, I think, will be... Probably Ziggy, because Ziggy is going to be a tough one. So I want to try something different with him, since he's going to be the one who does cross-stitching and knitting. And those are two really hard skills to make money with. Basically, you have to either have rainbow wool 
or you have to have something like Plopsy and I might actually mix Thrifty or the um, Trendy stuff with it. So we'll see. Anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.